Even when you have no cell service, your phone can still tell you exactly where you are. The GPS receiver is completely separate from the cellular modem and has nothing to do with your internet connection. So it works almost all the time, anywhere on Earth. It listens for radio signals constantly being beamed down by a network of satellites orbiting around our planet. The satellites transmit their position along with a highly accurate timestamp obtained through onboard atomic clocks. Knowing that these signals travel at the speed of light, the logic in your phone's GPS receiver can determine how far away each satellite is. Then, with the help of some more mathematics, including correcting for the effects of Einstein's special and general relativity, the receiver can infer where it is on the Earth's surface in the form of latitude-longitude coordinates, usually within a few meters of accuracy. Your phone does not send any data back to these satellites. It's only listening, receiving data from them. It needs the signal from at least four satellites to work out your position on Earth by essentially finding the intersection of these spheres and the Earth's surface with the fourth sphere needed to synchronize the time. The orbital pattern is designed so that at least six satellites have a direct line of sight to any given point on Earth at any moment. The only time you might have trouble getting a GPS signal is if you're in a cave, a steep, narrow canyon, a very dense forest with tall trees, or something similar. The Global Positioning System truly is one of the greatest engineering feats in human history. You have to just stand in awe. And if you own a modern cell phone, or even a not-so-modern cell phone, you have access to its power at all times, as long as you have some battery life. Google Maps can plot that little blue dot indicating where you are on a map, even if your data is turned off and you have no Wi-Fi connection. Although, unless you've downloaded the region into your offline maps, the surrounding features might look a bit blocky. Notice how there's much greater detail once I connect to the internet, or if I use a region that I've downloaded in advance. But if you're in the wilderness and carrying a paper map of the area, as you always should, you can simply cross-reference the numerical GPS coordinates given by your phone onto your map to view your exact position. There are dozens of apps which give this raw location information, but I wrote a simple one called GeoCoordinates, which is free on both Android and iOS. It shows your lat-long coordinates along with an accuracy for the reading, and handles conversion to a few standard formats like decimal degrees, degrees, minutes, and seconds, degrees and decimal minutes, and UTM. So you can select whichever one best matches the labeled axes on your map. I use the app here to get a fix on our position, giving us these coordinates. The map we're using has both degrees and minutes and UTM labels on its axes. UTM will be a bit easier to use in this case because that's the coordinate system that these blue grid lines running through the map are following. We verify that our map's UTM zone matches the zone given by the app. We then need to find the easting along the horizontal axis of our map and the northing along the vertical axis. Now the intersection of these two lines shows our position within a radius of 5.31 meters. If we want to use the lat-long coordinates instead, the most appropriate format to use with this map is degrees and decimal minutes, since we have minor markings at every one minute of latitude or longitude and a major marking every five minutes. Since the lat-long grid lines don't run through the map like the UTM grid lines do, we can use the lanyard of our compass or any sufficiently long straight object to help mark out where our coordinates intersect. Note that there are 60 minutes of latitude or longitude in every degree, or in other words, one degree is divided into 60 minutes. Similarly, there are 60 seconds of latitude or longitude in every minute of latitude or longitude. Google Maps can also give you decimal degrees and degrees, minutes, and seconds while you're offline. You just need to drop a pin on the location you want by pressing and holding that location. But it cannot convert your location to UTM coordinates. When you're headed into a low service area, you can save battery life by switching your phone into airplane mode to shut off all the unneeded radio receivers and turn on a low power mode if your phone has one. Batteries generally last longer when they're around room temperature and they don't perform well in the cold. So keep the phone in a pocket near your body to help it stay warm if you're in a colder environment. But despite your best efforts, batteries won't last forever and electronics can fail. 
So this is no substitute for solid map and compass fundamentals, which you can learn by watching some of our other videos. And be sure to stay on the tot line.